sorry. I know we haven't spoken since, uh... see me. I, uh, I want you to know. If you don't see me, Through here. know that I love you. Love you. Okay, um, hey everybody, welcome back to what is the final level of Kane and Lynch Do? I am still Nagaroth, and with me still is Fataku. Hey guys. Hey Fataku. Airplane. Balzer. Balzer Airlines. That is what we are hoping to use as a means to get out of Shanghai. And so far, all of our plans have worked out very well, so why shouldn't this one? And we were going to stealth up on these guys, but uh, we decided to uh, F it in the common vernacular. We decided to gently caress it with and our hands. You'll notice there's something uh, different that you're seeing the, uh, the video from Kane's point of view. Can't stay uh, up here. Which is not to say from my point of view, this is in fact for some reason, and they don't explain why, in the last level they swap players. Also they have jackets again. Massive difference. Yeah, I think they stole them from uh, Shang Tsi's, you know, private collection or something. Yeah, thankfully they're the same size as a elderly Chinaman. And yeah, and I, I don't know where they got those silenced pistols from either. Or how they even got out of that building, since I'm sure there must have been a shit ton of police and emergency services there, and probably what with all the crashed helicopters and bodies and screaming, I, I, I don't really know how they got to the airport. I'm sure they just drank the Chinese equivalent of Mountain Dew and then base jumped out of those bullet shattered windows. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was a level that ended up on the cutting room floor. Just too badass. Yeah, guys, this is too awesome. We have to turn this down a little bit. They're like, I don't really think that the shaky cam is going to go well with the base jumping. <laughs> it's, it's just a recipe for seizures, pretty much. This little part right here is really fucking annoying because, like... They're, they're, just, they're just coming from every direction, and cover is just kind of like... Well, you're covered one direction, and you'll start getting shot from the opposite direction because there's guys waiting for each yeah you there's down. lots of cover but it's just totally useless because there's guys covering every angle so yeah also it it might have been difficult to see earlier but basically you can you can stealth for the first part but there just kind of becomes like this invisible barrier where stealth just kind of gets thrown out the window and you just had to kind of realize that oh yeah this is an action game it's not splinter cell it's just a stupid bullshit nonsense thing. It's Kane and Lynch 2. It's no Kane and Lynch 1. That's, that's, and, and it's not Kane and Lynch 3. Yeah. Which I know, uh, apparently they're making. Yeah. yeah, they are. But, uh, right now we're in the, the, the labyrinth beneath the Shanghai airport. I don't know why this even exists. Um, this complex sewer system and smoky pipe outlet store. Well, they need some place to hide all their, you know, brittle asking toys and stuff. Yeah. Also, I mean, where else are the security guards going to patrol? Inside the airport? <laughs> no. That would be ridiculous. All the action is in the uh, service tunnels underneath the runway, of course. The service tunnels filled with explosive barrels. Look, no one said it was a good idea, but it was an idea. Is is that what you know Square Enix said whenever they bought Eidos? <laughs> yeah, if I were them, I would have just tried to have distanced myself as far away from this game as possible. Hey, hey, uh, other Japanese fellow who works at Square Enix, 
You remember the Hitman game? No? Uh, well, we bought the company. <laughs> Why did we do that? Uh, curiosity? I, re I remember buying their games for discount on the PS2. Be a yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, they're gonna borrow the awesome combat system here. from this game for Final Fantasy XIV. We gotta check the next hangar. Yeah. Uh, well, after the last one was nothing but narrow yeah. corridors and keep your eyes peeled. No reason to backtrack and no replayability. That's uh, there's the play. It's pretty indicative of what this game is. Fuck. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, we've. Uh, I guess we've stumbled on a arms deal that Glazer was setting up, maybe, or Shang C was setting up. Wouldn't that just be like our luck that after all this time, this was the deal that we were supposed to get to, and we're actually shooting all the guys who were gonna pay us? Well, I, I, I don't think they would pay us at this point. Even though I'm, I'm honestly kind of curious why these guys are even like after us in the first place because that's I mean, an excellent in the, point in the level description it says like oh well you killed shang C, but now his men are still after you you gotta escape the country what what guys are going to be so loyal to their boss that they're just like well he's dead we should probably go hunt down the guys that killed him maybe well i i suppose it could be some kind of i guess kind of loyalty thing but Probably a more reasonable explanation would be just kind of like, like when you cut off the head of the snake and the body keeps wiggling. This is just kind of like the death throes of his organization and just kind of following the last orders that they were given, basically. I thought I thought when you cut off the head, it just grows a new one. Uh, yes. Well, I don't know. I, have you ever cut off, cut the head off a snake? I don't mess with snakes. I have not cut the head off a snake, but I watched someone murder a rattlesnake with a shovel, and uh, the body keeps trying to get you even after you cut off the head. It doesn't care. I remember that scene from Old Yeller. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so there are plenty of shitty weapons here to pick up. Absolutely none of them are worthwhile, and I just picked up that one because I had next to no bullets, but I decided to be nice. And he gave Fataku, me the heavy machine gun. Yeah. Fataku was like, Yeah and I was like, What's wrong, baby? I was, like, I was like, It's my first time beating Kate and Lynch too. I want the heavy machine gun. He's like, Papi Chula, I want the big gun. I know it's I Papi. But it's our only chance. I'm like, Well, Papito, you gotta learn how to be a big boy. But then he caved, the way, okay? so I didn't learn anything. I learned can that I can cry and complain yeah. and I get my way. That's what LPs are for. No, it's fine. We haven't got much Way time. to reinforce we'll negative the behavior there. We just have care. to stay out of sight. Kano Lynch taught me negative behavior will keep you alive. Okay. Seriously, All like right. these guys are like immortal for some reason. And seriously, you can just use a door. You don't have to kick it. Yeah, I, I noticed that every single door they come across is pretty much held onto its hinges by like spit and like happy thoughts. Well, I, I think it actually enforces some pretty positive out uh, like morals in life. Like any door that isn't you know like a co-op door, just fucking kick the shit out of it yeah. because it's not supporting friendship and like cooperation. If this it's door doesn't want you to have a better relationship with your friends to succeed through adversity, then you should just kick it down. That, that was a moving speech. Thank you. I, I was kind of making it up as I went. I, w I want you to be at my uh, my valedictorian. I'm, I'm going to speak at your commencement, yeah. Yeah. My uh, bar mitzvah. You're becoming a woman. Beautiful. They misspelled VIP. <laughs> Maybe it's very, very important person. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, a lot of baggage, a lot of uh, cops, a lot of falling. And amazingly, the baggage will stop bullets, but thankfully the shotgun does a good job of good, uh, giving a good spread of sniper bullets. But that's okay. Yeah, for some reason, like, the shotgun is, like, the go-to weapon for marksmanship, which reminds me of the good old days of Quake 3 where you could 
snipe someone with a shotgun from a thousand yards away. Yeah. And here's a, here's a rather interesting, if completely annoying, little part. Um, they decide to force you both to split up for no explicable reason. I think the reasoning they give in game is to look for an exit, but you, you just end up back together in the end. So it's just kind of like, hey, you're split up. So if you if one of you die, you're both fucked. Yeah, and I'm supposed to cover you, I guess, from the railing up here. But with the full screen effects on, like the, those lights make it really impossible to see what's going on down there. So you're pretty much on your own. Yeah, not to mention like the lights themselves are just massive obstructions to seeing anything. Also, I tested it. They are bulletproof. Like you can shatter them, but like for some reason, it's clipping with. I think not the glass, but those top, those tall. Um, what are those like machine I think, racks I think or whatever? The, I think they're the servers for the airplanes. Those, those are the airplane computers. As that's we all how know. they. That's how they get Wi-Fi on airplanes. Uh, I noticed that this guy, the, the SWAT guys are living up to their Lynch! reputation from the last level as being total bullet sponges. I unloaded like two clips, two, uh, sorry, magazines with that guy. Yeah, got to use Where the appropriate terminology. I was there trying to pick up ammo so that I could do this. Pop! Yeah, this, uh... I don't. I mean, they, they do a good job of kind of ending the game on a somewhat good level. This this level is actually very well put together. It's got you know reasonable enemy rushes, and it doesn't look like complete shit. And it and thematically, you know, it makes sense. Like they're not gunning down, you know, like factory workers or you know carnies at an amusement park it's they're trying to escape so they're in an airport and they're gunning down SWAT guys in airport security yeah but I mean it, it, it honestly could have ended on the train and that would have been awful it, it could have ended at any point really